Hey, Sarah. Did you get enough water? Yes. No, if you want to stay seated, don't. I don't want you getting lightheaded. So remember I said the detectives were going to come out and talk to you and go from there. You know what I'm saying? They're here. They're going to ask you a few questions and then go from there, okay? okay. All right. All right, Sarah. My name's Chelsea. My partner, Scott. Um, to my understanding, you reside here? Okay. Is it just you? Um, and that, George. Okay. Um, I have a nine-year-old, Romy. It's 50-50 with Ryan, my former husband. Your former husband. Okay. Um, but you reside here with George, and then your son lives with you, or lives there? It's 50-50. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, from what um, has told me, um, she explained... Um, last night that you guys were drinking a bottle of wine, um, and around midnight, um, you decided you guys, yeah. okay, I guess. you guys decided to play hide and seek. Well, we were playing hide and seek and then <coughs> was your son home at the time or, no. okay. No, with my, Ex. with Brian. Okay. Um, decided to play, we just stupid like that, like. Sure. We were pe puzzles together, and we were doing artwork. You can see the puzzle that we finished in there, and then the artwork, and then decided to play hide and seek, just being stupid. Okay. So he decided to get in the suitcase. So I thought it would be funny to, and he was laughing about it too, mm -hmm. to dip him up in there. Mm -hmm. I go upstairs and fell asleep. So this morning, when I, or this afternoon, when I actually got up out of the bed. I thought for sure he was downstairs on the laptop because he was being really quiet. But then I came upstairs and I'm like, where is he? Like, oh. And I, that's when I found him. Okay. Um, I don't know what happened. Okay. And then you weren't sure about if you woke up this morning? It was afternoon. I mean, I wasn't late. Or this afternoon. But I just didn't want to come downstairs. So okay. I just laid in the bed for a little while. And then I eventually came downstairs and about where he was, and then I was like, oh my god, he's in the suitcase still. So I pulled him out, and I stretched him out, and I started to try to do CPR on him. Okay. I told you guys, well, I told Brian. Okay. And then I, as soon as he got here, which is 30 seconds down the road, I called you guys. Okay. And the person on the phone had me do the compressions continually still, and count with him, and so you guys showed up. Okay. And, um... So, as a part of our investigation, we obviously have to go inside the house. We have to look at things. Are you okay with us yes. going in the house and looking at things? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Um, and forensics, so we have to have our forensics crime scene investigators come out. Uh -huh. Are you also okay with them coming inside, do taking photographs? You and Okay. You okay. Can, can I ask, is Brian, or, sorry, Brian <laughs> I'm sorry, George, is he diagnosed with any kind of medical history? Not that I know of. Not that I know of. I, I don't know. I mean, he doesn't take drugs. I mean, we'll have the occasional bottle of wine here and there, but I don't know. Like, well, that would be my next question. So I you don't guys know. don't normally drink? You just drink once in a while? or? Well, I'm going to say, like, okay, I guess normal drinking is, like, we will have, like, a glass of wine or two, like, while we're cooking dinner. Sure. We're cooking here, and we'll play a board game with him. I mean, all the games are in there. But, I mean, it's not, like... A couple of beers a day is Well, but I don't... I don't understand though, like, for the little bit that we had, like, if I had anything to even do with it. Like, I don't know if he had a heart attack or a stroke or an aneurysm or what happened to him. I don't know. And were you guys together all day yesterday? Yes. Okay. Here? Yes. Like, you, neither of you left the apartment yesterday? I think we drove up to the convenience store to get cigarettes. Okay. But I mean, you could walk there. Does, does he have any history with any drugs? No, he doesn't now, because you said he doesn't, but... I don't know. As I mean, far as you've not ever known him, you've never no. seen him? No. I mean, he's from Philadelphia, and he, he grew up in Philadelphia, and then he went to Massachusetts, and then from Massachusetts, he came down here. So, I don't really know, okay. like, a whole lot of, like, medical history or anything How long like have that. you guys been together? Um, almost four years, like three and a half years. You guys been living here the whole time? Yes. Okay. okay. He's never been to the doctor, or... To the hospital during that time? Um, he had, he and his brother got into a really bad argument at one point. He had to have facial reconstruction. 
but he hacked him in the hospital from that. And then I talked him into going to see like a regular physician to get just like a regular like checkup thing. Yeah. But there were no red flags. Right? How long ago was that? The surgery or yeah, the both, doctor? Both. both. The surgery I think was at this point what? <coughs> two years maybe? Two and a half years? The checkup was probably a good Okay. And, and the suitcase is still in there? I, yep. I'll wait. Okay. Is it normally stored down there? Did you guys travel recently? Uh, no, he was going to start picking some of the what do you call it? donations in there. So that's why, that's why it's out? Yes. Okay. You guys didn't recently travel somewhere or anything like that? After you zipped them up, did you move the bag around the mess in the hall or you just zip it up and walk away? You know, and I both were laughing about it. But I went upstairs and I fell asleep. But the, what position was he in when you put him when he went in? Was he sitting on his rear end and his head up and he just kind no. of bent over? No. Okay, so like this is this is the suitcase. Uh huh. Like this was his head and then his knees right here and his feet were down. So he was laying on his side. Yes. Yeah. He just closed the flap and zipped it around. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I believe we were playing. Understandably. Okay. So he said that I needed to tell you guys about his family. Like, who do I talk to about? We're gonna do that once we yeah, once we walk through walk and see. Yeah, we're, we're gonna. Not going I'm, anywhere. We're gonna I'm be just here telling for a while. you, like, yeah, I, this is gonna be I'm a while. I'm afraid for my life. I want you to know that I am afraid for my life. His family has never liked me. I'm the blue eyed white devil. Is what they call me. So they've never liked me. They've never taken me in. They've never accepted me. I'll put it that way. Have you called any of them? Um, we talked to his daughters yesterday. No, I mean, like, about this. Does no. anyone know? Okay. That's so no I'm... one's going to know until we will be making that notification. So They're going it's... to kill me. Okay, well... Do they live local? Yes. They're down the road. They're going to kill me. His kids are going to kill me in Philadelphia. They're going to kill me. This was not intentional. Okay. And they're not going to understand that. They're not going to accept it. We're going to do a our own investigation and we will we will take we will definitely make sure that you don't feel scared when we leave here okay and when my we leave. nine year old well he's at school and he's with your husband i know well ex-husband your husband said that or your ex-husband said he made arrangements for your nine year old to be picked up oh okay mom probably okay, yeah. okay. all right we're gonna but go inside if that's yes, okay yes please but can you guys just keep me posted of course. so i know what's going on yes, and don't all you have to do is get their attention if you if you have a question or you need to talk to us. He's standing right there. She'll be right here. Yeah. Okay, but will you guys tell me? Like, so you're telling me, like, you you won't call whoever it is without telling me, right? No. I mean, no. I have all their phone numbers. We're not calling. Them. We're not making phone calls. We're actually going to speak to them in person. Yeah. We That'll are. That'll be later They're on. going to. Okay. <laughs> It'll You'll be later. prior to us making any I'm contact. not going to be here. Okay. They're going to kill me. Okay. We'll address all of that, yes. okay, before we leave. Okay? This was... Okay? Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Just stay seated, okay, Sarah? I know you're panicking, okay? Just relax. We'll come and talk to you. We'll keep checking on you. Okay.